Well, there are promising signs from the, the federal government that they are wanting to, you know, wind back this push to renewable energy. Meanwhile, uh, we look like we're going to be suffering the summer of blackouts because we've learnt that the or the Queensland government is proposing uh, what I call communist-style power rationing during summer. Uh, you won't be able to set your air conditioning below 26 degrees and there'll be restrictions on how, uh, how businesses can you know, power their you know, outdoor signs and, and things like that. And then we learned that the federal government is spending $36 million on incentive plans for uh, consumers consumers not to use power during the summer. There'll be uh, text messages sent out to consumers. Remember how much we all love those. Uh, AGLs offering incentives such as, I've heard uh, you could get free movie tickets or a free day's worth, worth of power. And so, you know, for the time being, we're, we're now at the stage of where we've actually got, you know, this rationing system where, you know, we've, we're supposed to be living you know, in a in an age of or in a country of energy abundance, and you know, this is what we're being told to prepare for this summer. Yeah, um, it, it is very, very, very concerning uh, that we have such limited choice as consumers uh, because of uh, quite and quite renewable energy or clean energy or green energy, you know, or, or whatever the, the news speak of the uh, politically uh, correct uh, left is. Uh, it's simply stifling choice of consumers. Um, it's making our economy awful. Um, and it's leading to potentially the elderly uh, not being able to keep themselves cool. And now, I live uh, personally about 350 uh, kilometres north, uh, north. Uh, what are we looking? Never northwest of um, Melbourne, and just uh, you know, I'm just north enough that I get the hot winds from the South Australian deserts. Now, summers can be 45, 46, 47, 48, and how is a, a man or a lady in his 80s or 90s? Uh, meant to actually be able to cope with that potentially, uh, if if there you know if there are blackouts. Now this this is really concerning, uh, and you know all I want as a consumer is choice. I want choice and competition, and I want the free market to do it. The free market will always give you the most innovative, uh, uh, you know, source of energy because people are wanting to make money. Uh, people are wanting to, you know, be the one to, you know, dig that hole and hit gold. You know, uh, simply the the government uh, and this this heavy-handed, you know, economic management simply kills uh, all um, all hope for private businesses. Because hey, why should I invest in clean coal practices? Why should I invest in having a more, you know, environmentally sustainable mine? A coal mine or, or, or uranium mine. If the government's not going to let me sell this highly, you know, economically viable um, product to the consumers, you know, purely because of their dogmatic, uh, secular, left-wing religion prevents them from doing so. Um, I think that consumers are sick of the lack of choice, and they're sick of a government, you know, controlling their economic freedom uh, in such an egregious and uh, heavy-handed manner. And the the fact I mean this is the the first summer that or well, definitely in my lifetime where uh, governments have considered such a course of action, which is basically an admission that the push to renewable energies has made our our power uh, supply you know un unreliable. And I mean you know where the the whole purpose of this, you know, uh, push to renewables is we're supposed to be, you know, saving the planet from, you know, ca a catastrophic, you know, global warming. Well, you know, there, there's no, we're, we're not noticing any discernible, you know, impact on the, the climate, not that, you know, Australia alone could make the difference, but we're definitely, you know, impover impoverishing ourselves. I mean, this is the, the 21st century where, 
you know, the, with te uh, technology and, you know, the increases in human knowledge, we're supposed to be, crea you know, be creating, you know, an abundance of, you know, products which, in which include energy. I mean, you know, we're basically, you know, electricity, we need it to, you know, function. I mean, we, we need it, you know, right, uh, right now. I mean, it's, we we shouldn't you know tolerate this you know reduction of living standards. I mean we're supposed to this action on climate change is supposed to you know save our living standards, and it seems we're doing you know uh, there's a hell of a lot of more sac sacrifice here than we're actually seeing benefit. Yeah, um, I I kind of agree with this. I'm I'm pretty concerned about um, well. Alex Jonesian type conspiracies that might be coming true about, you know, uh, global government because with the Tasmanian dams case, uh, section uh, 51 of the constitution, I believe, uh, subsection uh, 2026 20, uh, maybe was enacted, which which says it's the external it's external affairs the term, and now that means that uh, by like uh, binding treaties on things such as you know, global warming can actually override Australian law, uh, and this this interpretation come came from uh, the Tasmanian Dams case, which was spearheaded by uh, Bob Brown of the Greens, and uh, this this actual High Court interpretation um, gives uh, you know international treaties the power to override Australian law, and then you can look in hand with that with. I don't want to sound too nutty, and I don't want to lose, you know, uh, credibility here. But the the Agenda 21 of the United Nations, which which talks about sustainable development, you know, um, and and potentially this this whole global warming uh, scam is just a big Ponzi scheme of kind of uh, big world government uh, and redistribution of wealth to from rich countries to poor countries because. Obviously, we're seeing increased foreign aid all the time, and we're seeing countries like India and China booming, but countries like France, Britain, and the United States, you know, being unable to to have you know an economic boom, you know, in the same fashion. And that's also why we're going down this rabbit hole. It it also reinforces, you know, my. Uh, belief that you know the the green left they have an anti-human mindset i mean because they're wanting us to basically you know suffer they're wanting you know uh, they, we've seen you know a manufacturing industry you know shut down they they basically you know look like they're aiming to take us down to you know the back to the hunter and gatherer days i mean the greens for example they're even against you know building you know more roads any any kind of you know development it's just it, it reminds me of you know the the, fa the famous you know scene in uh, atlas shrugged where they uh, there's no electricity and so they have to use lanterns to 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 signal for the trains and dagny taggart sa uh, says to you know the people that have caused this this is exactly what you wanted you you know anti-human people i mean you know they're, they're, this seems to be you know what what they're aiming for Yes, or, or it, it could almost be like animal farm in a sense as well. Uh, that's an allegory to the Russian Revolution of 1917 where the, the pigs themselves, you know, end up hating, uh, you know, the, the owner, you know, so of the old, you know, capitalist owner of the, of the, of the place. And now if you're going to hate or despise, you know, people who, A, uh, you know, are industrialist capitals who create jobs, who are entrepreneurs, um, if you're going to hate those people, uh, yeah, that's, that's ridiculous because then you're saying that, you know, I don't want uh, innovation, you know, I don't want further comfort, I don't want my standard of living improved. Um, and, to, and to say that, uh, that humans are, are the, the root of all evil is ridiculous. Now, if you look at other animals within the animal kingdom, uh, they're quite brutal. For instance, dolphins, you know, eat their own babies, uh, you know, lions, gazelles, you know, have you seen the, the or gorillas, the actual violence that these, um, that these animals, probably more lions and, and uh, gorillas, but just the sheer violence of these animals. Um, I believe that, that humans are, in a sense, uh, the, the, the top 
animal, you know, in the world. We're not, we're not equal with the lion. We're not equal with the dolphin. And I think that, that that's a part of the, the Greens kind of, you know, uh, uber egalitarian mindset is that, that they say that a human has no more intrinsic worth or value to a fish and therefore if one is to, uh, let's say, pump coal into the air, uh, and they're to kill a fish, it's it's the same as killing, you know, humans because both have the exact same intrinsic value. Uh, and that also goes to the doctrine of intersectionality, which basically states that, that words are equated with violence. So it's, I think it is pretty clear to me uh, that, you know, words aren't violence and that, you know, humans are the top creature, you know, in this universe. Uh, and I think these are two facts that the Greens uh, keep forgetting to mention. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.